Hello everybody and welcome back to another My Porch Prince tutorial. This is Kira and today I am going to be showing you how to put together a corset spine, specifically a faux corset spine. Um, you may have seen corset spines before and they won't quite look like this because I actually wanted it to resemble like, like a real corset. So instead of trying to figure out how to sew pages in, I just decided to make it simple and do a faux or a false spine. So. Before you, you can see all of the materials you will be needing today, some ribbon, um, some eyelets, an eyelet press, uh, scissors, as well as a hole punch. I will actually be using my crocodile punch since it has an eyelet press and a hole punch built into it. And then we will also be using a marker. You can use a Sharpie or any kind of marker you have on hand and some glue, specifically the Fabri-Tac glue. All right, so taking a bit of chipboard and I'm using the two inch spine template from our hidden spine template that you can get in our Etsy shop. And since my spine will be two inches, I'm just going to mark it on the edge here and cut off the extra. Now, once that's done, I'm going to be taking some ribbon that is just the right size. This one is two inches, so it covers up uh, any of the chipboard that you might see and it also has these like frilly edges that kind of help hide the seam from when you glue it onto your spine um, you can use any kind of fabric this is just what I decided to use so cutting off the extra so it fits I'm then going to go in with this like lacy ribbon that I have a black lacy ribbon again you can use anything you want I just kind of liked the layered look of this and it's just slightly smaller than the two inch uh, ribbon we have underneath it. So again, just cutting it to fit. And now that we have both of those pieces, I'm going to glue everything down. Just like so. And then you can use a ruler, but since I had this cutter with all of these marks already laid out, I just decided to use this. I'm gonna remove the actual sharp piece just in case. And then making marks every one inch, I'm just kind of following these lines here. And I went ahead and did nine on each side. So 18 holes in total. And when you're doing this, make sure that you go not too close to the edge of your chipboard, otherwise you might compromise it and it'll like tear and then your eyelets will just fall out. So it should be something like this when you are done. All right, and then taking our uh, hole punch here, I'm going to be doing 3 sixteenths, which is pretty standard and just punching out all of those little marks we made. A little bit of wrist strength here. And when that's done, it should look something like this. And you may have a little bit of like fuzz sticking out in the back, just kind of like pull that out or cut it out with scissors. That'll kind of make it a little easier when we put the eyelets in. So just grabbing my container of eyelets here, I'm going to be taking 18 of them and setting those aside. And then we're just going to be pushing those through the little holes we made and then using an eyelet press, just sort of flattening them. And it should look something like this. So we're just going to go ahead and do that with all of them. And not going to lie, this part was probably my favorite. It was so satisfying. <laughs> Right, once everything is flat, it should look like this. And now we are ready to go ahead and string our ribbon through. So I'm going to be using this red ribbon here. I thought it made it a little easier to see what I was doing. And to measure it, I went about four times, which is actually too little. I would go five times the length of your spine. Um, that will give you enough to tie a little bow at the end if you want. I'll show you how to do it. 
uh, if you want to tie a bow or if you want to have sort of like a clean finish i'll show you both ways here but to start we are going to be threading the ribbon through each of the holes at the top one end through one hole and then one through the other and this likes to get twisted up a lot so you'll have to sort of go through as you go along and like untwist it probably as you work just kind of keeping everything flat and then grabbing both ends you want to pull them so that they are uh, even with each other this makes sure that you have even amounts as you go along and at the end to tie it off and then the simple way to thread a corset is just going towards the opposite punch like the opposite eyelet from where you're currently starting so just sort of a zigzag pattern here and then that'll end up giving you a pretty like corset crisscross so just kind of showing you real fast what that kind of looks like in case you've never done this before so going through the back and then going through the opposite eyelet Again, working out any twists you might have just like that and then going in with the opposite ribbon same thing and there you go that is sort of the basic idea I like to take one and just do one side all the way through I feel like it's a little faster so just sort of threading it and then we'll follow up with the opposite side although when you get to the end we're going to do something a little different here so just punching through this last one so again we'll go through the opposite side just like before and then you're going to want to go instead of like across like diagonally we're just going to go straight across to the other side and thread it through going from the back just like that and that'll give you this loose end here that we can work with and then doing the same thing with the other ribbon And again, when we get to the end, we're going to do the same thing here, but just kind of like pulling that previous ribbon to the side to make some room. And then threading through here to create that final crisscross at the bottom. twists and then again going across like directly in the straight line through the back and there you go now you have two ends to work with and if you want to you can just leave these loose or add charms or beads to them um, I usually like to tie it like in a little bow that's what I did when I made this the first time but of course here I didn't quite have enough so you can see I'm sort of struggling to make a little bow here just kind of wanted to show you guys sort of what it would look like so you'll want to definitely have a little more ribbon than I did if you do a bow you can see it kind of makes like a little bow at the very bottom or if you want it to look sort of clean or if you just didn't have enough ribbon and don't want to redo the whole thing what you can do is take the opposite end and again just go straight across And create sort of like a nice clean line here to kind of match the top of the spine doing the same thing with the other end and now you've got like this clean line in the front nice and tidy and in the back I just like to tie a couple of different knots two or three to just hold it in there and then we'll take some scissors and just cut off whatever is 
left behind. Again, you don't want too big of a knot, otherwise your spine might not lie as flat. So two or three should be enough to give you a small knot that doesn't stick up too much. Just like so. And there you go. There is our faux corset spine. Sort of nice and delicate, little feminine. And how you'll apply it is just take your book and then whatever you have on the spine, you'll just glue this on top of it, holding it down while it dries to make sure it doesn't pop up or anything. And if you want it to look really nice and cohesive, I like to put it on a journal that has like already some other ribbons and spines around it so it looks nice and finished and cohesive once you have it done. And this is a Poe journal that I will be doing a video flip through of here really soon. So keep an eye out for that if you are interested in how I made this. But you can see how the spine sort of complements all of these other pages I have here. And the frilly edges do a pretty good job of hiding the seam where you glue it down. Okay, so that is going to conclude today's video on making a false or a faux corset spine. Um, I hope that you got some inspiration and that I'll be seeing more people trying out this uh, new corset spine on their own journals. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye!